Hello friends and welcome back. Today I'm coming at you with not one but two different brownie recipes. Brownies are just my absolute favorite sweet treat, dessert, baked good, whatever you want to call them, they are my favorite. So I am absolutely psyched for today's video. As I'm sure you all know, Claire came out with a malted forever brownie recipe in her cookbook Dessert Person, so it was just kind of a given that I would be trying them at some point. But to spice things up a little bit, I decided to try and compare them to another recipe. Today we'll be comparing her brownies to a tasty recipe, and they call them the best brownies that you'll ever eat, so I am so excited. I'm sure both of them will be absolutely delicious, and I can't wait to give them a try. It looks like the tasty recipe was comprised by a team of people, so we have Von Vreeland, Susan Vu, and funnily enough, Claire King, who collaborated on this recipe. Because Claire's recipe does take a little bit longer to make just with all the cooldown time and everything, I am going to go ahead and start with her recipe. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ingredients. To make Claire's Smalted Forever brownies, you're going to need a quarter cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder, a quarter cup of boiling water, I obviously need to reheat that, but <laughs> you get the idea, five ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, coarsely chopped, six tablespoons of unsalted butter cut into pieces, a quarter cup of neutral oil, such as vegetable oil, which is what I'm using, half a cup of granulated sugar and half a cup of dark brown sugar, one large egg and two large egg yolks, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of malted milk powder, one teaspoon of diamond crystal kosher salt or half a teaspoon of morton salt, and then six ounces of milk chocolate coarsely chopped. All right, so to this large bowl, I am going to go ahead and add my cocoa powder as well as my boiling water. And then we're gonna whisk this together. To this bowl, we're going to go ahead and add in our chocolate, the semi-sweet chocolate to be specific, the butter, and the oil. All right, I've got some water coming to a simmer, so I'm going to go ahead and add this on top. And then I am just going to mix this every now and then until it becomes nice and smooth. All right, so I have let this mixture cool ever so slightly, and now I am going to go ahead and add in my sugars. Next up, I'm going to add in my eggs and egg yolks. As well as my vanilla extract. Next, I'm going to add in my flour, and then my malted milk powder and salt. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and add in all of the milk chocolate and then just fold it into the batter. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and add this batter into my prepared dish. And then once I'm done with this, I am going to bake this at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes and just kind of keep an eye on it. Okay, so here are the brownies fresh out of the oven. They're looking pretty good. So now I am just going to go ahead and let these cool in the pan for about an hour, and then I'm gonna stick them in the fridge for another hour, and then they'll be ready to cut into. Okay, so while those brownies are cooling, let's go ahead and get started with the tasty recipe. Okay, for the tasty brownies, you're going to need two and a half sticks of unsalted butter, eight ounces of semi-sweet or bittersweet chocolate, roughly chopped, I'm using semi-sweet, three quarters of a cup of Dutch processed cocoa powder, one tablespoon of instant espresso powder, two cups of granulated sugar, half a cup of dark brown sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two teaspoons of kosher salt or one teaspoon of morton salt, six large eggs, and then one cup of all-purpose flour. All right, so we are going to start by adding our chocolate, cocoa powder, and espresso powder to this bowl. Then we're just gonna set this aside. All right, so as you can see, I've got this butter going on the stove. It's just on medium heat, and I'm just gonna let this melt down. All 
So this recipe actually doesn't call for browning the butter, but just to let it come to a vigorous simmer, which it looks like it has done. So I'm going to go ahead and just pour this over the chocolate mixture. All right, so I went ahead and let the butter sit in this mixture for a couple minutes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and whisk it until it's smooth. All right, so in this large bowl, I've got all six of my eggs, and I am going to go ahead and add in my granulated sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, and salt. Then I'm gonna go ahead and beat this until it's smooth and fluffy, and so probably for about 10 minutes or so. Alright, so as you can see, I did go ahead and add in that chocolate mixture, and now I am going to add in my flour. And I was actually supposed to divide the cocoa powder and add the rest of it here instead of mixing it all in that butter earlier, but I made a mistake, so that's fine. I'm just going to fold this in, and then we will add this to our prepared pan. So I'm going to go ahead and bake this at 350 for about 20 minutes, then we'll pull it out and drop it on the counter a couple times and then put it back in the oven. Here are the finished brownies. I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool and then we'll give it a taste. Hello friends, it is indeed the next day, my bad. I'm not gonna lie, yesterday was a very busy, tiring day, so by the end of it, I was just done, and I did not want to try the brownies, so we're trying them today. Um, I did chill Claire's brownies in the fridge like she instructed in her book, so let's go ahead and give them a taste. So here's what Claire's brownie looks like. You can see like a bit of milk chocolate right there and there. Um, they look very gooey and fudgy, just like I like them, so I'm excited. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That is probably one of the gooeyest, fudgiest brownies I've ever had in my life. And it is so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me grab some water and then I'll try the tasty brownie. All right, so that's what the tasty brownie looks like. Um, obviously, there's no extra chocolate chips or anything, but it looks also very <laughs> fudgy and delicious. And I'm so excited. Mmm. Oh my god, okay, that is also delicious. They're both very fudgy and delicious, which is amazing. I love that type of texture for a brownie. So I'd say they both get 10 out of 10 on texture. Surprisingly enough, I feel like the instant espresso comes out a little bit more than I expected in the tasty brownie, which isn't a bad thing by any means because obviously, you know, coffee is really good at enhancing the flavor of chocolate. Um, I wasn't expecting to taste it, but it's like, it's very slight, so um, not overpowering at all. I think it's fantastic. I will say I think Claire's brownie is a little bit sweeter, um, especially with the addition of the milk chocolate, which I kind of like, so, oh man. This is, this is hard, they're so good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Claire's brownie is sweet, but it's not like too sweet by any means. And I really love the textural variation with the little chocolate chunks, it's so good. Back to the tasty brownie. <laughs> Hi sweetie, you cannot have this, this is chocolate. It's not good for dogs. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's really tough. Oh my god, it's so good. I I am honestly at a loss, and that's a good thing because both of these recipes are just 
absolutely incredible. You really can't go wrong with either of these recipes. They're both so, so good. Um, I don't know. I, ah, I'm just going to keep eating these until I can figure out what I want to say. All right, here's my take. <clears throat> I really cannot find a fault in either of these brownies. They're both really delicious and you genuinely cannot go wrong with either of them. I think I might slightly prefer Claire's brownie. I really like the texture of hers. I like the um, little bits of chocolate and I don't know, it's just like a perfect, like perfectly sweet, well-rounded brownie. The Tasty Brownie is also very delicious and I really love the espresso powder um, that they added in there. I think that that's awesome as well. And again, the texture on that one is fantastic too. I think I might like Claire's a little bit more just because it's slightly more interesting. Uh, not to say that the Tasty one is like boring by any means, but it's definitely like a very good classic solid brownie recipe. So it's really just whatever you're feeling on that day, whichever one you want to make. They're both pretty easy to make. Um, the Tasty recipe is like slightly more involved, but it's nothing like impossible. And I mean, they're both absolutely fantastic. So like I said, you can't go wrong. And I am going to be enjoying both of these brownies and sharing them with my friends, of course. So yeah, that is all I have to say on the matter. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.